Hi guys, my name is Julia, and today I'm going to teach you how to build, how to draw a skull. I'm going to use permanent markers. If you want to use a marker and your parents say it's okay, um, then you could do it. Or if you want to use a pencil, I'm just going to use these markers because I think mine will be darker. So I want mine to be darker so that you guys can see it better. Okay, so we're going to face our paper this way. Okay, and we're going to grab a marker, maybe, if your parents say it's okay, and we're going to draw a skull. We're going to draw a circle, and then we're going to draw a smile, and a smile under that, and then we're going to draw lines. And then we're going to draw circles for the eyes. And then we're going to draw a little hook. And then we're going to draw a dot. What? What? No. Then we draw that. And we connect it. And then we, and then we draw dots. We could draw dots next to it, but that's what I'm going to do. Draw dots next to it. Okay, so that looks like a skeleton. That could be a skull. Okay, so I'm going to color these in. You don't have to. It's just your decision. I'm going to. So. My videos are just like the art hubs for kids. Just the art hub for kids videos are better than mine. The adults. And the kids. Sometimes. Then we'll draw some lines across if we want. That's what I'm going to do. And then we come out and then we draw a little heart and then we connect it. And then we come out again on the um, this side and we draw a little heart and we connect it. And then same thing. So that's it for this video. But um I'm still going to draw some some stuff around it and you'll need stuff to color too. So I'm just going to color with one color, and that is this permanent marker. Just so that it's darker, and I don't have to use color pencils, because I don't know what I want to do. Okay, so you can see that. Okay. It doesn't really look like a light color, but it really is. Like a really light color. See this top? It looks like yellow. That's the light. That's supposed to be light. But the inside is not. I don't know why they don't do the same color. So. I'm so glad I got to teach you this lesson. Okay. So. I don't know how to fast forward. So. I'm just gonna keep following our wait. I'm gonna do something real quick. Hi guys, I'm back. Um so if you saw I well, I don't think you did. But I was I kind I fast forward, but I didn't actually fast forward. I um I paused my video so that you didn't see me coloring. And hear anything annoying. So, this is what my picture looks like. You could color yours any color you want. Okay, so that's what my picture looks like. I also wanted to do something. Like that. Why did that just fall? <laughs> Sorry, 
my mom is in the kitchen. Um, I'm just gonna pause my video one more time and I have to go get something else. Thank you. Hi, I'm back. Okay. So, I got another sheet of paper. Now, I'm going to teach you how to draw a heart emoji house. Okay, so it's very simple, but I just wanted to show you. Okay, so I'm going to draw an L right in the center of, oh, sorry, to, down. Okay, I'm going to draw an L. And then I put the house up. Oh, yeah, this could go up a little bit. A little bit more. Okay, so now I have a square. So I did an upside down L. Now, you go up like a triangle. You go down like a triangle. And then, we do little zigzags. Sorry for the background noise, if you can hear that. Mom, could you sh turn your show down? Please? Mom? Yeah? Could you turn your show down, please? Yeah, sorry. Thank you. It's okay. So now, we're going to draw a heart. Okay, on the side of our house. Either side you want. Okay, we can't forget the door, so I draw the door. Okay, so upside down L again. The door can have as much holes as it wants, as you want, actually. Oh, whoops, I left on the marker on me. I get ticked off. Okay, so now. Charlotte, it's okay. You don't have to be afraid of the cat or the dog. <sighs> my cat and my dog are afraid of my other dog because they bite. Kitty, hi, kitty. So, little Come here. This is my doggy, Layla. She's very cute and very nice. Say hi, Layla. Hi. Go lay down. Go lay down. Go lay down. Bless you. I mean, that was right on the couch. Yeah. Okay. Let's put you back down there. Okay. Now, we're going to draw a window. So, I like to draw windows up here, but we're going to leave that area alone. An L. And then... And upside down now. And then we do, we split it in half. And then we split it in half again so that there's four pieces. I'm going to draw a little model of my house. And then if you want, you could draw a model of your house or a totally different house. It doesn't have to matter. Layla, do you think I should draw a model of our house? Yes, I think that. Yes, yes, Julia. Do whatever you want. Okay, Layla's. My dog does not speak. That was me. Yes, Julia. Yes, yes. I think you should do whatever you want. <laughs> okay. My house in front has four, it has three windows. See, if you can see, it has three windows. See, so. Two are covered by the curtain. Here, I'll show you. Layla, do you think. Eh, I don't know if that's your question. Your dog. You won't know. This is a window. This is a window. And that's a window where my dog is. Hmm. Happy St. Patty's Day. God.
Okay. So again, we do an L and then an upside down. So you could do whatever you want for your house. I am just going to draw two windows because I can't fit a third right here. So if I had put this window a little bit closer to the door, then I would have been able to fit a window in between and I would have been able to fit a window right here. But that's not happened. So, um, but oh, okay. So you see the house. We're gonna connect that to the end of the paper, and then we connect it. So we draw a little line on the heart, and then we go outside of the heart. And we draw a line at the end of the paper as well. Okay, and then that that concludes the ground. Then we could draw some grass if we want, but I'm not going to do that because this is the ground. Dinner's ready. So that is my walking path. Okay, so then that is the rest of my grass. Okay, so that concludes this. So we're gonna draw the the, the heart emoji. So I'm gonna draw a circle on each side of the heart. Then we're gonna draw a smiley face. And then we draw some of those things, the squigglies. Okay, and then that concludes our house. But you could add some little details, like a little window up here. That would be my attic if I drew a window up there. Did someone sp spill syrup? Did someone s spill syrup here? Mm -hmm. The paper's sticking. Hey. Somebody spilled syrup. I licked it. That's disgusting. <laughs> That's disgusting. Don't do that again. Okay. Um. So I'm just gonna. Okay, I'm gonna put it out in front of you. Box. Come on, Bubba. The door handles. I'm gonna add some windows up here. Color them in. That's what my door looks like. There's although there's four windows on my door. I'm not gonna show you. So that is our house emoji. You could add more stuff. I'd rather not, but I'm not going to color this in. You color it in yourself. It's dinner time for me. So, thank you for watching my very long video on how to draw a skeleton, on how to draw a skeleton, and the house heart emoji. So, thank you for watching. I hope you had a great time drawing. Bye. Keep my picture up if you need to. I won't wait on it. It's my mouth. Bye. By the way, I'm Julia Rose, and this is my Heart Hub for Kids. Um, well, not Heart Hub for Kids. Just go on YouTube, and and you'll find Julia Rose. You can search Julia Rose on YouTube. So. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.